Welcome to the weekly video podcast for the new PBS series, E Squared. This exclusive online program will take you beyond the episode you just watched and deeper into the world of sustainable design. I mean, there's a famous saying that there's good architecture come from architects, great architecture has to come from a client. It's true. There's absolutely no way of proceeding with an important piece of architecture without the engagement of a client and their complete commitment to the values, interests, preoccupations that are behind that project. The San Francisco building is a beautiful example of that because it took a huge engagement with a client that believed that we could produce something that was quite different than the generic expectation from what looks like a very simple problem. I think to be conservative is the riskiest strategy you can take in many cases today. Because to be conservative is to, to literally, to, if you take it literally, to conserve, to maintain a similar attitude towards a problem is probably the biggest risk you can take. The world changes too fast. We need to go back to who we are as a culture and that we have to rely on our intelligence intellectually and creatively. And it's that change, it's literally our survival, which is nothing but adaptation. Now you're just building a, uh, again, a more efficient automobile or a more efficient airplane or where you want to go. And if you can't do that, you don't survive. You're out of business. It's like our auto industry won't be around if they can't, if they actually can't um, find design objectives um, that allow them to be globally competitive. It's funny, I was at a, um, a conference two years ago I don't remember his name, but it was the head of design at Chevrolet. And his talk was how the automobile, and he showed historical slides of automobiles and airplanes in this case, and he was discussing how the automobile had reached the end of its development. And it was all about style now and nowhere to go. And I was just completely astounded. The automobile is an exact place in history where it's being completely reinvented. It's obsolete. A lot of people would say he was taking a, a very conservative meaning. It's a good thing, hold tight. Today, it's, it's the most dangerous strategy you can have. We're gonna completely reinvent an automobile. You won't even recognize it in 10 years. And the first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna quadruple the, the, the mileage. My wife has a Honda hybrid. When I'm driving it, um, I stop at a stop sign and the engine goes off and I reach and put the key on and it doesn't go on. And I'm always like, on what happened to the car? And, and, and you go, oh, it, it stops. And then I don't drive it for a while and I do it again and I forget again. And, and you go, okay, you have to really rethink of how you drive an automobile, something as simple as that when you drive this car. They, they, they challenge you to do that. And they, why do you do that? Because um, they know that 15 or 20% of your whole gas intake is when you stopped. And so finally you go, that's smart. Somebody sat around a table and figured it out, told their design guys, figure out how to make this work, produce a product, and right there, we're gonna get X amount of miles per gallon. And um, sa same with buildings. Um, I think the work we're producing now, the work we're gonna produce in the future, will absolutely um, demand, because it's performing at a much more specific level, it's gonna affect the culture of the workplace in terms of the inhabitant, where they're gonna have to um, relearn how to operate within a man-made environment. Are they gonna whine about it? Or, of course, it's the nature of the human being. But I think what'll happen is that they have to be put in tune with the greater aspirations of the project. So finally, they come to grips with it as they understand it. 20 years from now, it'll be part of history. For more information about E-Squared, visit our website at pbs.org. Thank you for watching. I'm Carl Bass. We're proud to sponsor this weekly podcast for E-Squared Design.